The Defender game was similar to Space Invaders. Player had to defend astronauts by shooting down invading aliens and had a very similar feel and play and look. Space Invaders was a hugely popular game at the time and people have asked us why we didn't include it in the album. The answer is, I, again, I don't really know why. I mean, I don't know why we didn't do a song about it, but Defender was also a popular game and we really loved the title, so we went with that. The track was a guitar-driven track, and we featured Chris Bowman on rhythm and lead guitar. I just can't say enough about Chris's playing. I, I, he just did a terrific job, and we still get together uh, at least once a year. They have a big party, and we got in the backyard and set everything up, and everybody plays, and Chris is just a terrific guitar player, and he did a really great job in this song. We were just happy to have him on the tracks. We had Jenny Whitaker was still on drums, Larry McDonald was playing the bass, and I was on keyboards. Chris had a nice, sassy lead on this track, too. I'm the defender. defender was the second track to not use any background vocals. But we did double track Gary's voice. You can kind of hear it if you listen on the choruses, kind of double it to beef it up a little bit. Now, if there were any of the songs that didn't work well on the album, at least according to the public, I guess it would be this one. We thought it came out really well and really liked it, thought it was one of the better tracks, but over the years it's proven to be probably the least favorite song on the album and I have no idea why. It's got a great melody, good hook and a good arrangement, um, everything the playing on is great. Gary wrote good lyrics and sang it well as, as he did on the other songs, but for some reason it's uh, the least favorite song on the album. I don't know, maybe someday somebody can explain why. But uh, we thought it was a, a pretty good track. <laughs> 